Hello, beautiful. Welcome to the United Way. I hope you are doing pretty well. This is our preview. Manchester United versus Brighton. We in this preview we will be joined by our dog Ricky. Ricky, say hi. He's a Manchester United fan. So uh yeah, so uh yeah. Uh this is a game in which Manchester United needs to uh try to reduce the level of negativity with the club, the fan base. I guess most of you are looking forward to it. But let me tell you guys something. This is a game in which we need to show character. I think we are there. No matter all the negative news we have had, I am very sure that Manchester United we do have something, also on positive news. Let me get the dog in his position. Sorry. So um, this uh, this is a game in which I think Manchester United needs to show character. We need to try to reduce the level of negativity in our team, and hence we need to get that result. I think United is in a position now that uh, we want good football, but I think the result is more important. So I will be over the moon for three points rather than even having a good game going into the game we have some injuries you guys know if you are a fan or if you're not actually a fan or not into these daily uh informations like i am i just know want to remind you guys we have Varian, which is out we have luke shaw we have basically four or five of our players who will not play tomorrow we have anthony uh, who, uh, you know, for those reasons, he has the scandal. He is not going to take part. He's on a leave. Also, Sancho, who is now training alone uh, by Manchester United. I think Sancho will be sold already. In, he will be sold in uh, the January transfer window. That's 100%. Or Sancho will go on a loan, uh, to say the least. So, um, the lineup which I've used, you can see on my right, which is on your left. And guys, please make sure you draw yours below. I know uh, we have a community of very active uh, f um, uh, fans, United fans here who are who really uh, focus on how to improve United tactical wise. So I would love to hear what you guys think. Draw your lineup below. I want to know, and uh, we can discuss about that. So this is what I have gone for. I have gone for a defense. Uh, my defense, you can see that. But before I start that, I just want to tell you guys that uh we have to have a mobile uh a mobile phone front three and, and the reason why i use this uh, collection of uh, this uh combination of um anthony marshall on the left the attacker holland and on the right marcus rashford because i know they can interchange i think they can be they can bring going forward they can be dangerous against uh a Brighton team which weakness is in the defense so um, um this is where I what I think but I would love to hear your point also and tell me uh what you think uh, uh what are the combination I know some of you are excited about bringing in Pelestri into the game I would say um, some of you said I, I've seen some crazy lineups online seeing Pelestri on the right on the left um uh, the Argentina Ganacho which uh, I've seen McTominay in the midfield as well but uh I, I think these are all of football fantasies right but uh, uh but the good thing is that we have a manager who is pragmatic ten Hag, not only by his character but by his deeds and we know how ten Hag is i think in this lineup i will have one player which i think might not play in this lineup it's only i who might not start in this lineup i think ericsson will come in for the moroccan uh i'm i'm rabat but uh this is where i go went with tell me guys if you think i'm, I'm correct so my defender my uh goalkeeper it is uh the cameroon international onana he he, he had a very good game on cameroon he gave out i mean we won the game because of him so our uh, two central backs will be uh lisandro martinez i hope he's fit because martinez had an injury against arsenal then went for the brazilian team where he played and also had a slight uh uh injury so hopefully he's fit if martinez is not fit he has to be taxed he has to be charged sorry yeah he has to be taxed but he has to be charged because we don't want to have players who play for club for manchester united then obviously uh start uh being um uh, i mean taking about um, i mean united what i'm trying to say is that united is not a charity we employ these players give them salaries they have to give their best with the team with the club yeah so uh on the left i'll go with dalo Dalo here yeah, on the right, Arawan Basaka. Tell me what you think about the left. Do you think we should start with the Reguilon? Because I think uh, we should go with what we know in this game. I know we are playing at home. We have that advantage. Well, we have that moral advantage because the number 12 man, which is the Ultra Fund fans, will be behind us. And um, yeah, so 
two holding midfielder. This guy, Casemiro, has been very good offensively. He goes up and down, Casemiro. So he will be helped a lot, massively, if we have Amrabat, who plays behind the, 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 the two defenders, you see? So I will put Casemiro here and Amrabat. If Amrabat is fit, we had the information that he was taken out from the Moroccan uh, national team. Uh, and uh, yeah, so in front of him, this is a game in which I need liberty from our captain Bruno Fernandes, who will be everywhere taking the ball. So he will basically play in the diamond with Bruno Fernandes. When we move on, he can also contribute on attack, but I'm, I'm expecting Bruno to be the guy when we are on uh, the offensive to help uh, move the, bo the, game, the ball. Then on the left side, we will go with Marshall. Marshall's one of his best uh, attributes. Uh, yes, he's not that defend that attacker again due to his injury, but he is a skillful attacker. He might not have that pace, but he's skillful. So I'll go with his experience, give him 45 million, see how it goes. But he will be interchanged from time to time with Marcus Rashford. So Rashford can come here at some point and Marshall can come here. Anyway, it will do. And then at the nine, I'll go with this guy, uh, Rasmus Hodgson. I think Rasmus had a good impact against uh, uh, Arsenal. Tell me what you think, because that's my opinion. I think Rashford had a good... I watched the game again. Uh, Rashford had a good game against uh, 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 Arsenal. And I think if Ras Ras uh, Rasmus uh, Holland is, is been given a lot of services, I think he can score at least 15 goals this season in all competition. At least 15 goals. So he can go above that. So this is my lineup against the game and my scores for this game, I don't know. Tell me what you think below. My scores for this game will be, I think I go for a 2-1 Manchester United. I hardly see how United will play without get conceding a goal. It will be fantastic if it can be 2-0, but I think it will be a 2-1. Or a more negative scores could be a 2-2. Two -two. I don't know what you think. Tell me what you think below about the scores of Manchester United. Do you think United are going to get get, get that three point? I think we are seventy percent. We can get that three points because we are playing at home. Because and uh, and uh, the Brighton, you know, Brighton does practice good football. And one of the reasons why we can get this point, we, we can win tomorrow, is because of this. Let me tell you this: it's because of this guy, the goalkeeper. We have a goalkeeper who plays a high line. And if we have a goalkeeper who plays a high line, we saw that against Arsenal. Um, uh, Arsenal could not play us in a very high way because we had a goalkeeper who always uh, who is good on his feet and uh, who can always play in this way. I mean, can, good in his distribution. I'm not saying he's going to be here, but his distribution of the ball. Next time there will be the ball here. Yeah? So uh, we have because of the goalkeeper that we have, it helps Manchester United to play really a high line. And that will be... That means that we will have players like Bruno and also uh, Casemiro going up. And um, this is how we will be formed. Uh, well, let's put it this way. I think this is how mostly when we are on the attack, this is how United will be on the attack. This is how United will be. So I think United has a great chance here to win this game because if Brighton comes and tries putting us under pressure, we will take advantage. One of those long balls maybe for him to Rashford or Hodgland or... Uh, I think we have a good chance here to 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 win the game. So, guys, that's uh, my um, match, uh, uh, my preview. I go for a two-one win Manchester United in Old Trafford on Saturday. I th hope, guys, that after the game we were going to meet. Hopefully, there will be a watch along. But I hope after that game we are going to um, do our match reaction. So, tell me what you think below, guys. Drop your like. Uh, your like. Share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tell me what your first 11 is. Do you agree with my first 11? Do you twist things into it? Do you think that we should bring in Ericsson in the place of uh, Amrabat? Or should Amrabat start today? Drop your comment below, and I'll read your comment and reply to you. Without all said, guys, very happy to see you. Hope you guys are going to have a lovely weekend, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.